what's up guys um today i wanted to do another update on my dragon ball z sh figure arts collection i want i'm excited to show you guys because i recently moved around some figures if if people have seen on my shorts or on my tiktok uh that's what i have right now it's been a little over two months since i showed my last one so i wanted to show you guys the update on some of the displays i did some did stay the same but some are different so i do want to show you and this isn't the only one I'm going to be doing. I wanted to mainly do this one for Dragon Ball today, but I might do an update on my Spider-Verse soon, on my other ones that I collect like anime for Jujutsu Kaisen, Naruto, etc. So yeah, um, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you some updates on all the collections, but this is gonna be one video itself for Dragon Ball. So I hope you enjoy and let's get into it. So first off right here we have some random figures uh they don't really fit anywhere at the moment to me so i have a super saiyan 4 goku right there i got ultra ego this is a super saiyan 4 vegeta i got super saiyan 4 vegeta this is from heroes and then i just have a master ultra instinct with a normal gi outfit so that's what i have on the first one second we are going to move on to the Saiyan Saga. So this is one that I updated recently. Uh, I got a new dial. So look, this looks awesome. I'm super happy. So first off right here, we have a Scouter Vegeta with a Tone Sin, I believe it's called. A uh, head sculpt. This is the Ape Vegeta. So it looks so awesome. Glad I have that still. Here we have a Saiyan Rays on Earth. Here we have a Nappa. This is the event exclusive. There is a Saiyan Pod that I own. Super happy to have that as well. Here is a Kaioken Goku. There is Krillin. And then I have a Bardock. And people asked me once, so I might as well just mention it. This is kind of a custom Bardock that I got a long time ago. You can see it has a more matte finish and it has more green rather than that light yellow green color that the regular Bardock has, I believe. So, yeah. There's one more look at the Saiyan Saga. So yeah, this one has been updated recently, as you can see. Uh, let's get to All it. Alright, here we have the Namek Saga. Um, so first I got Awaken Goku. Not Awaken, uh, sorry. This is when you first go Super Saiyan. So I did make, recreate the scene, sort of. So here we have a four, first form Frieza. This is a custom effect that came with a figure rise, in case anyone wonders. I really like that effect with him, it looks cool. Here we have a Awakened Goku versus Frieza. They look awesome together. Here's next up we have a Piccolo. Here is an SH Regards Cooler. There's a Bardock, a Super Saiyan one. So yeah, I have these guys specifically just for me. You know, it's my collection. I love to have what I like, so. And then right here too, I wanted to have a Vegeta in this saga, so I kind of recreated that Vegeta that was in here with the Scouter. He just doesn't have the armor. It's different, so yeah, but he looks awesome. I think I like it. So yeah, there is one more look. This is the Namek Saga. It has re recently been updated as well. All right, guys, here is the Cell Saga. Uh, this one did update from the last re uh, review. Not review sorry uh update on the collection so this one is new to those who have not seen so right here i have a super saiyan 2 go on this is the og release with a super saiyan 2 aura right there looking awesome and i did make a little piece of the arena myself so that looks cool i love it here is an sh figure arts trunks this is the boy from the future here is a dragon star cell as i said before on the other video um I do not like the SH Regard personally because I feel he's too scrawny and short. Um, so I'm going to wait until they make a better looking one. I really hope they do one day. But for now, this guy will work. So here we have a first form cell. There is the event exclusive Android 16. Love that figure. Glad I got him too. Here is the, I think it's called the Blood Awakened Vegeta Super Saiyan with the metallic hair really love this figure it's awesome if you guys haven't gotten it because this guy is pretty much a reissue of the old g1 so here 
here is armor trunks that's the a head skull from the boy from the future trunks and i put it on the armor it looks so awesome i love how that looks here we have a saiyan rays on earth not saiyan rays on earth sorry this is a full power body with a this is from the majin buster i believe the demoniacal fit head sculpt but it is full power so here are the twins android 16 and 17 both the event exclusives looking awesome glad i picked up those figures a long time ago so yeah guys that's my cell saga hope you like it there's one more look as you can see well, let's get to the next one all right guys uh sorry for the stuff in the way um i haven't moved it but here is my majin saga so first off we have a this is a demoniacal fit body of gohan with the ultimate gohan the new one that just came out head sculpt so yeah i really like how that looks it works i've made it peg in perfectly so here we have a whitish grayish aura this is kind of his potential unleash that i made with the electricity as you can see really like how that looks here we have android 21 as i said before i know a lot of these characters do not belong here but i really like to have them in there i just feel they look right with it in my opinion so i like to have them in my collection here we have super boo there's a sh oh no this is demoniacal fit vegeto with the super saiyan head sculpt here we have a Majin Vegeta, this is the Demon Eichel Fit as well, and then this is the Demon Eichel Fit Majin Buster, Goku, Super Saiyan 2, both clashing, looks awesome. And then lastly we do, oh no, sorry, not lastly, but uh, next we have, this is a Kong Studio body Majin Vegeta with the new tones and Super Saiyan head sculpt, so yeah, it looks awesome. We really like how it looks with the electricity, the aura, it looks awesome. I try to make it look like the final explosion. So yeah, <laughs> I like how that looks. And then lastly, we do have, this is the Demon Eichel Fit. I recently reviewed him. This is the Demon Eichel Fit Super Saiyan 3. I think it's called the Stormbreaker. I'm not sure, I forgot. Oh, the Golden Storm, that's what it's called. So yeah, I really liked it because the detail on the face just looks amazing, as you can see right there. So yeah, there's my Majin Saga. There's one last look right here. Hope you guys like it. I really like how it came out as well. All right, guys, here up next we have, this is kind of a Battle of the Gods uh, display, as you can see right there. Um, I do not have a dial at the moment, so, but I have Super Saiyan God. This is the event exclusive Goku with a Kong Studio Super Saiyan Godhead. There's the event exclusive Beerus, and that's the OG Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the actual one. But I did put the Demon Eichel Fit head sculpt on that body it works it looks awesome so next up we have Whis, and then here's another blood awakened vegeta for those who don't know so yeah that's what i have at the moment not too many characters for this display but looks awesome maybe one day i'll get a dial so here's the last look all right guys here's my goku black or future trunks arc i like calling it goku black but everyone has a different name for it now, this one has not been changed. I'm just super happy with this one. This is my favorite one probably. So I probably won't change it for a long time. But I still want to show you guys, of course. So here we have the normal Goku Black. This is the chosen one, I believe, the Demon Echo Fit one. And then that's the Demon Echo Fit Goku Black head that comes with this guy. So looks cool. I really like it because he looks so evil the way he smiles on this head sculpt. So that looks cool, cool. Here we have the Demon Eichel Fit Zamasu. Uh, like I said before, this guy brings way more accessories and is uh, way cheaper than the actual one. So that's awesome. I feel he's worth it with everything you get. Next up, we have the OG Super Saiyan Vegeta with the Super Saiyan Blue head sculpt. Here we have Fuse Zamasu. This is another Demon Eichel Fit. Vegito, I just like this one more. So, yeah. This is the kind of reissue, thirty-five dollar figure of Goku Black. This is a different metallic rose hair. And then we have uh, Future Trunks, SH Figure Arts, fighting, looks awesome. Then we have Goku Blue. 
you see right there and then lastly this is still my first uh sh figure arts figure that i ever got myself this is the event exclusive goku black with the shiny pearlescent type metallic hair i really love how that looks so and then that side does come with this one for those who don't know and he will probably remain my favorite till this day because he's my first one so all right there's one more look really love this display next we have the tournament of power this is another one i recently updated with the new dial and rearranging some figures and some new additions so first we have the demoniacal fit shining soul goku super saiyan blue kaioken then we got hit this is the old master ultra instinct goku this is the new one of the new additions that I got from the last update. Golden Frieza. Really glad to have him. This aura comes with the Golden Storm, I believe. The Goku Super Saiyan 3. So I feel that fits with him because the lightning's yellow. And unlike the Saiyans, the Saiyans lightning is blue. So I feel this works for him. Really like how that turned out. Uh, next up we have this is the demoniacal fit. Goku. Uh what's it called? Uh, tenacious martial artist i believe so yeah there's the ultra instinct sign and then jiren both giving a stare down <laughs> i really like how that looks next up we have a super saiyan blue evolution vegeta this is the demon Eagle fit as well called berserker Roy. i don't know i forgot what it's called a lot of the names are kind of mixed and matched sorry guys but yeah that's the tonson head sculpt as well for super saiyan blue evolution i really love how that looks the scream just looks so exaggerated. It looks awesome. Here we have the recent pickup and review that I did. This is the Black Hole Toys uh, third-party company, Jiren, full power. This guy is awesome. The effects he brings, he just looks like an SH figure. It's honestly really glad to have him finally. Here we have the Tournament of Power Android 18. And then the Tournament of Power Android 17. And then as I said before, this is a new dial that I got. So, yeah. I really love how it looks. There's one more look. Let's get to the next one. Alright guys, next we have the Broly display. This one has changed drastically because I got a new dial as well a while back. Super happy to finally have one. Look at that. I really love how it turned out. So here we have SH Figuarts Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. I have kind of like a blue aura around him with the flames. It looks so cool. And then that's the Soul Punisher, I believe it's called. His skill it looks so cool. I really like how that turned out. Then we have uh, Super Saiyan. This is the Heroes Vegeta. But I put the jacket over him because it looks like the dark armor from the movie. So that looks so cool. If anyone's wondering, I get these jackets from eBay. So... Next up, we have a SH Figure Arts Dark Armor Vegeta. This is from the Broly movie. And then that is a custom Tonson head as well. Super Saiyan God. I just love how those look. They look so awesome. And then those effects are from eBay as well. Uh, the person I purchased from, you have to purchase. And he will take a little while to uh, make them. But honestly, the, the weight is worth it, I feel. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Next, we got Broly. This is the original that released from the movie so glad to have him as well he looks awesome then we got super saiyan 3 gogeta oh super saiyan sorry not super saiyan 3 <laughs> so yeah they're both clashing it out then we have this is goku blue body i believe from goku and then i have the hero's head sculpt on it so yeah that looks so cool and then he has the jacket as well same thing get it from ebay if anyone's wondering and then lastly we have full power broly with the aura so yeah, really love how this one turned out. This one is probably the one that updated the most because this one never had a dial a long time ago. On the last review or update, sorry, I believe it, it did not have it. So, yeah, I'm really happy to have one finally. It looks awesome. So you can see one last look around the dial. So, yeah, there's one last look at the display. I hope you guys like this one. This one, super happy with how it turned out. All right, guys, lastly, we have the superhero display. I'm super happy I recently made this myself right here, this dial for them. I really love how it turned out. It looks so cool. Um, if anyone's wondering, these are like pink foam boards that you get 
from Home Depot. And then the paint is from Michaels. It's like small acrylic paint that I get. So if you put up enough work, you honestly can make your own, guys. This looks awesome. So here we have Beast Gohan with the DL Customs head sculpt. I did not have Beast Gohan yet, the real official one. I am going to be picking them up soon, hopefully. So, but yeah, for now, this one's awesome. I honestly love this one more with how the head sculpt turned out, but I have to see the real one in person. So we'll have to see. Next up, we have a Piccolo. This is from Heroes as well. Uh, I know people ask me why I have her here. And I tell you that she was in the movie briefly when Meg Manetta, I think. Not Manetta, sorry. <laughs> That's from My Hero. I forgot his name, Magneta or something. Uh, feel free to tell me. I forgot what his name was. But they were talking about her and pretty much made her canon. So I, even just for a second, I put her there just because there's no other place to put her. It's it's a spot where I can actually put her in. So I wanted to put her there. So that's Android 21 lab coat. Here we have Superhero Vegeta and Goku both fighting like the movie. Here we have another Ultimate Gohan with the Super Saiyan head sculpt. Here is the new uh, superhero Broly that just recently came out. Super happy to have this one. If anyone doesn't know, those head sculpts from this Broly all fit on this guy, for those who don't know. So that's awesome. And then we do have Gamma 1. I still need Gamma 2. I still need that figure. I really want it. I want them together, but we'll see. He's a little, a little bit pricey right now, so we'll see, though. I have to get him soon, but yeah. That's my hero display. Hope you guys like it. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. That's all my displays as of now. My updates. And um, like I said before, I'm going to be doing one for the Spider-Verse. Hopefully soon. And then the other animes that I personally collect. Like Jujutsu Kaisen, Naruto, uh, my hero, uh, etc. So I really want to do those soon. So you guys can see. Because I have recently updated it and I haven't shown it personally in a video. So I really do want to show you guys. Hopefully you would like the content. But yeah, guys, that's my Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Arts collection of August 3rd. Like I said before, the last one I did was like two months ago, I believe. So I'm glad to finally have this update for you guys. And every now and then if I switch up some displays and if it's enough of a change, I will show you guys these videos. If you enjoy, please like and subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoyed and have a good day. So stay tuned, guys. Peace.